What do we do with a friend who is struggling with doubt and fear and even wondering if God can forgive their very own sins? Well, God's Word gives us some clear examples of what we are to do. The first is in the Old Testament. It's the story of David, King David, before he was king. David, as a young man who's struggling with his relationship with King Saul, who is trying to kill him, David is befriended by Jonathan. Jonathan fulfills for us the vocation of friendship by doing what a good friend does. He listens to David. He listens to his fears, and he points them again to the truth in God's Word. Jonathan was a good friend to David. He was there. He listened. The official title for that is the Ministry of Presence. Sometimes just being with someone who has doubts and fears and listening and pointing them to the hope of God's Word is exactly where we need to be. Don't underestimate the great gift that God has given to you as a friend. Now remember, you and I know that we can't overcome someone's fears or their doubts on our own, but we can point them back to the hope and promise that we have in Jesus. And He will do that by giving them faith. Another great example that we have of someone who is being a good friend is in the story of Jesus at the beginning of his ministry. Jesus calls Philip to follow him as one of his first disciples. And as Philip is there, he finds his friend Nathaniel. And Philip can't wait to, sh to show Nathaniel the good news. We have found the one that Moses and the prophets have preached about, Jesus of Nazareth. And right here we see Nathanael's doubt. Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He was not believing. But Philip did a wonderful thing here. Philip didn't try to convince him on his own. Philip wasn't trying to defend God. Philip simply said, come and see. That simple invitation to be where Jesus was. What a great thing that is when you, as a friend, will invite your friend who's struggling to be where Jesus is. Turn into God's Word. Read the Psalms. Find some comfort there and share that with your friend. Invite them to come to you. Invite them to come with you to worship. And there we hear the great promises of God given to us. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. And it is the truth that Jesus is the Messiah, that Jesus is the Savior, that Jesus has already forgiven the sins that your friend is struggling with. Jesus is always inviting us to himself. Come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus does the work of inviting. Jesus does the work of healing. Invite your friends.